helping low-income families stay employed with diapers. Yeah, and as parents know, they are a child care expense that can really add up. 10 News anchor Jim Patton joins us from the San Diego Food Bank in Miramar with the connection between diapers for your kids and staying on the job. One of the big arguments for a program like this is that if you can't afford diapers, then you may not be able to qualify your child for daycare. If your child can't be in daycare, then you can't work. Now, and how many diapers does she go through a day? Um, about 10. 10 still. Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez-Fletcher meeting with families that benefit from the diaper program. It's an effort that Gonzalez has been devoted to for the past five years. Public-private programs do already exist, but the state funding of $10 million is going to allow the diaper assistance to greatly expand. Four regions around the state will share the money, including L.A., San Francisco, Fresno, and San Diego. The two and a half million coming here will pay for some six million diapers locally, enough to last through 2021, making a big difference for moms like Danielle and her daughter Hope. I was in between jobs for a few months, so it was nice to have that extra little bit of help, you know, especially with the diapers. Along with securing this state funding for diapers, Lorena Gonzalez says she's also working to make diapers tax-free for everyone so that they're more affordable. And if you are part of a family that could benefit from this diaper program, you were advised to contact the San Diego Food Bank. Reporting in Miramar, Jim Patton, 10 News.